kindly subscribe to our youtube channel to watch the full lecture hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will be seeing how to calculate a labor turnover rate now what is a labor turnover first let us try to understand what is labor turnover modle navu labor turnover andre enu anuthu nona labor turnover means change in the workforce labor turnover na navu change in the workforce anta karithivi in a company many employees live and in their place many new employees will come and join that particular rate is known as labor turnover ಈಗ ಒಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋ ಸ್ಥಳಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಎಷ್ಟೋ ಒಂದು ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ಗಳು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗ್ತಾರೆ ಅವ್ರ ಜಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಹೊಸ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ಗಳು ಬಂದು ಸೇರ್ಕೋತಾರೆ ಈ ಒಂದು ರೇಟ್ನ ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ವಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ ಸೊ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಲೇಬರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ನ ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಮಾಡೋದಕ್ಕೆ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ತ್ರೀ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಪರೇಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಒಟ್ಟು ಮೂರು ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇದೆ ಮೊದಲನೇ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಸಪರೇಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎ ಸಪರೇಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸಪರೇಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ವಿ ವಿಲ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೋಸ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ದಿ ಆರ್ಗನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ದೋಸ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ಈ ಒಂದು ಸಪರೇಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡಲ್ಲಿ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯೀಸ್ ಕೆಲಸವನ್ನು ಅಥವಾ ಕಂಪನಿಯನ್ನು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಹೋಗಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅಂಥ ಒಂದು ಲೇಬರ್ಗಳ ಒಂದು ಕೌಂಟ್ ಏನಿರುತ್ತಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಅದನ್ನು ಮಾತ್ರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ನಾವು ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ ರೇಟ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಟು ಕ್ಯಾಲ್ಕುಲೇಟ್ ಲೇಬರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಬೈ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಸಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ಲೆಫ್ಟ್ during a period number of workers left during a period divided by average number of workers divided by average number of workers during a period into 100 if you do this we will get labor turnover rate next how to find out this average number of workers to find average number of workers also there is a formula what is that formula it is number of workers in the beginning number of workers in the beginning plus number of workers at the end number of workers at the end of the period divided by 2 if you do this you will get average number of workers and this average number of workers we will be using in calculation of labor turnover rate so this is separation method in separation method we will use only those who have left the organization and the formula to calculate labor turnover rate under separation method is number of workers left during the period divided by average number of workers during the period into 100 now let us see the second method second method is replacement method replacement method what is this replacement method in this we will consider only the number of workers replaced number of workers replaced or number of workers who have joined in the place of those employees who have left the organization ಈ ಒಂದು ಮೆಥಡಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಬರೀ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಈಗ ಯಾರು ಬಿಟ್ಟೋಗಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರ ಜಾಗಕ್ಕೆ ಯಾವ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ಎಂಪ್ಲಾಯಿ ಬಂದಿರ್ತಾರಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಅವು ಆ ಒಂದು ಕೌಂಟನ್ನ ಮಾತ್ರ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ದಿ ಲೇಬರ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಓವರ್ ರೇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಇಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸ್ ರೀಪ್ಲೇಸ್ಡ್ ಡ್ಯೂರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೀರಿಯಡ್ divided by average number of workers average number of workers during the period 
average number of workers during the period into 100 this is the formula this is the second method now the last method is flux method we are having last method that is flux method what is this flux method means we will consider workers left as well as workers replaced we will consider workers left as well as workers replaced yaar yaar bit hogirtare matte yaar yaar replace agirtare ee veridanu kuda navili consider martivi so the labor turnover rate is equal to number of workers left number of workers left plus number of workers replaced divided by average number of workers into 100 so this is a formula now based on this let us solve the question the question is on the screen kindly take the screenshot of the question from the following data given by the personal department personal department means nothing but the hr department calculate the labor turnover rate by applying separation method replacement method as well as flux method number of workers on the payroll now they have given the details that is number of workers at the beginning of the month was 900 number of workers at the end of the month was 1100 during the month 10 workers left 40 persons were discharged and 150 workers were recruited of these 25 workers are recruited in the vacancies of those living means in this 150 workers were recruited so 10 workers left and 40 persons were discharged in their place they are recruited 25 workers are recruited in the place of vacancies while the rest were engaged for the expansion scheme now let us see how to solve this problem now in question they have given number of workers at the beginning of the month isn't it they have given in kottiyare avaru number of workers at the beginning of the month kottiyare eshtu jana anta idrante 900 members idru next at the end of the month kuda kottidare end of the month eshtu jana idrante 1100 iga edaradna ittkondu naavu average number of workers na kandidibodu by using these two with the help of these two numericals we can find out average number of workers average number of workers how much is how to find out the average number of workers the formula is workers at the beginning of the month number of workers at the beginning of the month plus number of workers at the end of the month whole thing divided by 2 now beginning they were 900 plus at end of the month they were 1100 so whole you should divide it by 2 there is nothing but 2000 divided by 2 nothing but 1000 so the average number of workers were 1000 now let us now calculate number of workers left now please notice the question number of workers left see 10 workers left 40 persons were discharged so 40 per persons the company removed apart from that 10 persons left so 10 persons left plus 40 persons discharged so total 50 workers left the organization now first let us calculate by using separation method so in separation method we should consider only number of workers left so here is 50 so the labor turnover rate formula is number of workers left during the month divided by average number of workers 
into 100. Now number of workers left during the month is 50 and average number of workers is 1000 into 100. Now if you solve here 2 0 and here 2 0 will get cancelled, here 1 0 and 1 0 will get cancelled. So the labor turnover rate is 5%. Next is flux, uh, uh, sorry replacement method. Next is replacement method. So under this we will consider only those number of workers which we have replaced. Here see the question, number of workers replaced is how much? Number of workers replaced. 25 workers are recruited in the vacancies of those living. Means some people have left the organization. In their places 25 people are recruited. Means they are replaced. So here there are 25 people. So the labor turnover rate formula is number of workers replaced divided by average number of workers into 100. So number of workers replaced by was 25 and total average was 1000 into 100. This thing 2020 zero, zero will get cancelled. So 10 zero here point will come. So it is 2.5%. Now the final method is flux method. So under flux method we will consider both number of workers left as well as number of workers replaced. The formula is number of workers left plus number of workers replaced divided by average number of workers into 100 so number of workers left is 50 number of workers replaced is 25 and total average number of workers was 1000 and into 100 so it is nothing but 75 divided by 1000 into 100 2020 zero, zero will get cancelled 10 zero and point will come here so total it is 7.5% Hope you have understood this problem very well. The notes for this I have put in the first comment. Kindly download the notes and study well. Thank you. If you have any queries regarding today's session, kindly send your queries to education.mbbroadcast at gmail.com.